There are a couple of things that are certain about TF2's performance in 2022. It can run on any machine, it needs a strong CPU to run well, and to use master config, a community optimized TF2 settings modification. While these pillars aren't wrong, they are a little misleading. Master config's presets are generalized and don't take into consideration your machine. Each machine is different, and in this video I want to show you how to optimize TF2 to utilize your machine to the best performance to quality that hasn't really been touched on anywhere that I've seen. Now here's a little background. I don't play TF2 on a weak machine. I have a Ryzen 2600X and a GTX 1080 Ti. Not a modern top of the line machine by any means, but way above the needs for TF2. But even with this machine I always felt frustrated that I had to crank down all the settings on TF2 to utilize my high refresh rate monitor. I mean, other games didn't have this issue. I could run Apex and Overwatch at high frame rates while the game still didn't look bad at all. This could be chalked up to TF2's poor optimization and the fact that I have Ryzen and not an Intel CPU, meaning that my single core performance left a lot to be desired. But then I started thinking, surely not everything in the game was processed by the CPU, like shaders and model rendering. There had to be a way to turn down settings that were heavy in my CPU and increase utilization of my graphics card to make the game look better, since my 1080 Ti was obviously stronger of the two. Now if only there was a way to know which settings had the most performance hit. Oh well you look at that, there's Master Config's documentation. So what I think many don't realize is that you can modify the presets of Master Config individually which can allow you to optimize on what you need. With each setting you can open the documentation to see how much of a performance hit you will receive. With this information you can turn down settings that hit heavy on your weaker component. For my device that would be the CPU. Do this with all the settings and download the preset. Then you will have to download the modules.cfg file and place it in your tfcfg directory inside a folder labeled overrides. Which you can create if it's not there. This will apply all your customizations, and it's a lot easier to change quickly rather than having to download the VPK over and over again. I did some benchmarking on the Ultra preset. To do an optimal benchmark, you need to record a demo in an in-game recording of a match, which you can do by entering a game and typing into the console record, and then writing the name of the demo. Try to get gameplay of a lot of things going on to really stress test your PC and get a worst case scenario. Then when you finish recording, type stop. In practice, for a benchmark, you want to keep it short, at most a minute or two, as it will just make the benchmarking process a lot longer if you record for longer. After that, to benchmark your demo, you can go to your console and type Time Demo with the name of the demo you recorded. TF2 will play through the demo as fast as it can process it. At the end, the console will show you an average of your FPS. Keep in mind that if you're resetting TF2 to change settings and then benchmarking, make sure to benchmark twice as loading cosmetics and props can really skew with the numbers. My findings were that with the Ultra preset at default, my average frame rate was around 138 frames per second, with optimizations that disabled all effects that had a medium or high CPU usage on Master Config, I got an average 158 FPS. After turning up some settings to make the game look a little nicer, I got an average of 148 FPS. After closing some background programs and using CPU cores, a software that optimizes CPU usage for games, I was able to push it up all the way to 152 FPS. Keep in mind that these are just averages and don't show the peaks or high of the frame rate, but I want you to keep in consideration at that now my game earned FPS with optimizations while still looking good as Ultra. You can definitely tell that there's degradation in quality here and there, but honestly I don't mind it at all during gameplay. At the very least it's not as jarring as the low preset. And so with my findings I want to give you some guidance on how to approach optimizing your game for your machine. First, choose a preset on Master Config that you think your machine will be able to run at the very least pretty well on. For my PC, I thought Ultra would be a good fit, but for something like my Surface Pro laptop, I think Medium Low would be a better fit, especially since my laptop doesn't have a dedicated graphics card. It's integrated instead. Then we will completely turn off all the settings with the medium to high CPU usage. If your graphics card is stronger than your CPU, or medium to high GPU usage, if your CPU is stronger than your GPU, or you're running on an integrated graphics CPU. Note that even if your CPU is stronger than your GPU, it would be probably more beneficial to lower down some CPU heavy settings as your CPU still heavily determines how fast TF2 runs. The best way to see if your CPU is strong or GPU strong is to benchmark the game at different resolutions. If you gain considerable FPS with lower resolutions then it must mean that your PC is GPU bounded, while if your gains are negligible that means that your PC is CPU bounded. Also as a rule of thumb, TF2 runs much better on an Intel CPU than on an AMD CPU. So if you're just trying to ballpark estimate your CPU strength, make sure to keep into account which CPU brand you have. 
If you have an AMD chip, it might be weaker than an Intel chip at the same price for TF2. Then download the VPK and place it in your TF Customs folder. I would recommend you benchmark here to get to know how much FPS you will run initially so you can compare it to the optimizations. Then download the module.cfg file and place it in your TF CFG overrides folder. Then you can benchmark to see the performance you have gained through your optimizations. If you feel like that you can sacrifice 5 to 15 FPS for some quality, you can bump up some of those disabled settings just as long as the usage is medium or below. Make sure to benchmark frequently after making changes to know if your performance cost is really worth it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you later.